In the spotlight this morning, the Polka King is hitting the streaming screens today. It's based on the true story of Jan Levon, a Polish-American polka band leader who was imprisoned back in 2004 for running a Ponzi scheme seeking his own warped version of the American dream. Now, Jan, you always have so much going on. You're constantly on the road with the band. Mm. You've got the store, the mm. record label, the radio program, Jan Levon Flavored Vodka, and now Jan Levon European Tours. <laughs> Jan Levon always expanding. When I was little boy in Poland, all the times I dreaming of America. Your invest have built all my business. You cannot go wrong with this man. He never stops. We went in. We all get rich. I heard that people are investing money with you. Yes, come see me at the show. <laughs> and one of the stars of the film is young actor from Rhode Island. You've known him since he was a little boy. He comes on the show quite often. Robert Kafer, and he's back in studio with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you. College boy now. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Yeah. So somebody literally just told me the first time I've been on this show was 2010, and I freaked out. Wow, was, yeah. yeah. And, and you've been on here for so many things. Yeah. You did the Christmas Carol at Trinity Rep <laughs> yeah, a wow. while ago. You've done voice acting, yeah, a lot yeah, of Yeah, Frank and Weenie features. and a Tarzan movie, a lot of different things. Diary yeah. of a Wimpy Kid. Right, right. The Way, Way Back. Yeah. Those last two, I, I mean, a lot of films went to theater, so they were mm. shot differently. Right. The Polka King, a Netflix yeah. movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people often ask, like, so is the movie coming out in theaters? I'm like, well, no, it's just like a Netflix only thing. But yeah. so, like, because basically with a movie like a Diary of a Wimpy Kid, it was always planned to be released to, mm -hmm. like, to be released in theaters because it's made by like 20th Century Fox and stuff. Right. Now, in the case of the Poker King, it was like an independent movie. So it's the type of thing where what they end up doing is they look uh, for distributors to purchase the movie and then show it. Yeah. And so, to have Netflix yeah, behind and to you. Yeah, Netflix have it is awesome. In terms of production, though, like, you, because you've worked on other movie sets right. before, when it's a shot for Netflix, is there a tighter timeline? Do, do, do yeah. you yeah, sense like, any differences? I, it's, it's a little more streamlined just because like budget reasons. Mm -hmm. It's the type of thing where when you're working on an independent movie generally like there's not as much money going around which means you have to be more efficient. TV in general is even quicker than that. Like when I do an episode of Elementary, it's insane. Mm -hmm. How many episodes have you done so far? I've done, I just did my seventh a couple of months ago. It comes out this month actually I think or next month. Yeah. Wow, that's so, really exciting. Yeah, yeah. And talk about exciting. I mean, you're working with Jack Black, Jason, yeah. Jason Schwartzman, uh, Jenny Slate. Yeah. H huge names. Yeah. No, in this all, all awesome people. Like, what are they really, like really in real cool. person? Oh, I, I mean, they were all... <laughs> They were all so cool. Like, yeah. I, I was, I'll be the first to admit, I was a total geek around Jack Black. Just because, yeah. I mean, like, he, I, he, I grew up watching a bunch of his stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I actually told him, when we were filming a scene uh, in the movie, there's a scene in a beauty pageant. And we had some downtime, and I was just sitting next to him. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's so embarrassing. We were just sitting there, and all of a sudden, I just kind of looked at him, and I was like, i got to be honest with you about something. He was like, yeah. And I was like, well... Uh, when I was 10, for my 10th birthday party, mm -hmm. we all went to go see Kung Fu Panda, and it was like the best <laughs> birthday party I ever had. Awesome. So like, I just want to let you know, like, it was awesome. And, like, I instantly regretted it, but he was, like, really happy, so. Well, and you guys had this nice connection, because you actually play his son. And I do. We want to show a, yeah. a quick clip of that. Right. So this is Robert as Jack's black son, David. Grandma, why are you so mad at Pop all the time? I'm not mad at your father. I just think he lives in La La Land. He's meeting with producers in Los Angeles, and when he gets his own TV show, he says that I can be on it. Sweetheart, that is La La talk. Nothing more. People love coming to his concerts. He makes them happy. Flying himself first class to L.A., putting himself up in Beverly Hills. How? All right, um, I'm going to get some lunch. Now, we can see this starting today. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's on Netflix right away. Mm -hmm. Just log on and there you go. Perfect. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your own No, home. exactly. That's what's awesome about Netflix. Yeah. It, it's nice. You got that going. Like you said, elementary mm -hmm. on our station. You've been having some recurring episodes yeah. there, more appearances. Yeah. And now you're at Brown. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. I'm, studying some film? I am. I'm okay, actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, studying film and history. I think I'm going to double major. So All right, well, your next accomplishment.
One quickly coming, your next role, you got to come back here on the road show. Yeah, no, of course. Promise? Of Can't course, take I promise. All right. Obviously. Going to hold him yeah. to that. Yeah. Awesome, Robert. Thank awesome. you so much. Well, thank and the you. Polka King, like you said, is available on Netflix right now. And stick around in just a couple of minutes. Robert is also going to join us in the Brody Roundup.